right, we're right back and looking at harness your emotions again. Today we want to go right digging into awareness of our emotional state, the inner life. And I want to start by saying that in repositioning you want to alter and put it in a different position. That talks about your relationship. If your relationships are not working the way they ought to, you don't want to start the change from the other person. Most times we do that very easily pointing fingers at the other person. He is not doing what he should do. She is not doing things that she should do and that prolongs our journey of growth. If we look at ourselves and begin to identify patterns and look at what is it that I am contributing to this mess, then we are looking at our lives realistically and we are well on our way from that position of taking responsibility to a position and a place of altering our lives and the outcomes of our lives. So it's so important that we look back at ourselves and see where is it that I am contributing to the mess uh, if there's issues in the relationship. And on the other hand, if there are positive emotions and there are, there's joy, there's uh, release, there's forgiveness, there's uh, you know grace, and moving on together, you will also find out that your relationships is becoming more exciting, fulfilling, and giving you a, a platform to stand upon to fulfill your destiny and that's so very vital for uh, the quality of our lives and relationships so in the awareness we are looking at what are the patterns how can we discern and detect those patterns such as mood swings or irrational outbursts sadness anger fear disgust embarrassment resentment unforgiveness bitterness the list goes on and on and it's so important that if you identify any particular emotion or emotions, mostly they come in batches, to be honest with you, uh, you want to put down which of these emotions are coming out more and why are they coming out? Have I not dealt with something in the past that happened? Is there a backlog of unresolved fear, for instance, or anxieties? And what are those anxieties? That's the first point in moving forward and harnessing your emotions. So if you're overreacting a lot more time and not feeling in control, sometimes women, we seem to be in a PMS, you know, the premenstrual tension or session, and we take it all over to the closest ones to us. So you're looking at why is my life a roller coaster? Why do I feel like I, I'm so much in regret? I say things and I say I'm sorry immediately and I keep doing that. Why do I feel like I, I have no energy? I'm not moving forward. Why do I feel like I'm procrastinating? Why are, do I feel that people are not interested in me? Why can't I seem to move ahead of life? What, what's happening? What's happening? Why do I feel so frustrated? These are symptoms. And so we want to look at now from this point of awareness, how do we delve into dealing with why they happen? If we look at this from this point onwards, it's so easy. Put them down because this is the very first place that you're going to get the picture. When they arise, moment by moment, put them down. Journal. And from that point on, we can now form that pattern properly and we know what we're dealing with. I'll come back to you right on this harness your emotions, reposition your relationships. Thank you and I'll see you again on day three.